Hey, Mark. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Great, Paul. Thanks for having me today. I look forward to chatting with you a little bit on uh, how we do videos for our classrooms. And so, uh, yeah, it's, it's just great to, to be with you today. Yeah, we're talking about teach materials and the importance of delivering materials to engage our students and to support our outcomes. And you have an interesting approach in doing this. Uh, can you talk about that? Sure. Uh, I always felt that uh, if something was simple, I'd probably do it more than once, you know, in terms of producing something for the classroom and, and, and if they, the class found it valuable. And so uh, years ago, I did some videos at the college and got some great feedback. And, and uh, I knew a photographer and he said, uh, well, why aren't you doing some of these videos out uh, for your course yourself? And I said, well, you know, I haven't bought a piece of expensive equipment or anything else. Heck with that, you know? use a, a simple uh, smartphone and you're on your way. So I went out and tested it and uh, got some great feedback and, and uh, did some outside videos. And, and uh, I really felt that I ran into so many opportunities where I could tie something I saw going on in the environment to a class topic. So they really matched up and it made it really easy and fun. And so once it became fun and simple, I started doing one after another. Let's take a look at um, one of the videos that you've created, and maybe we could talk a little bit about that after we've uh, seen it. What if you had a very simple process to produce videos, upload those into your course, and share with your students? I know if it's simple, you'll probably do more, as I do too. Welcome, I'm Mark Van Heuvel. I'm an instructor in the Business and Entrepreneurship Program at Portland Community College, and I'm excited that the digital training team has offered me an opportunity to share some simple tips with you. There are fabulous reasons and many reasons to produce videos, including sharing course announcements, explanation of course assignments, creating an inclusive and welcoming environment, and encouraging student participation. So many reasons there. We'll share a few links at the end of the video to help you upload your videos and hopefully uh, do a great job. So I look forward to sharing these tips. Let's get started. Hi everyone. Here's some simple tips in producing your video for your class. Um, in this case, all we're using is a smartphone with a camera function set in video mode. Key is to have the person holding it or on your tripod in horizontal fashion, not portrait for most applications. About four to six feet away is just great in most cases because you won't need an extra micro, uh, microphone for good quality sound. So we're about four to six feet away. Length of the video, you can pack quite a bit of information into a one to three minute video for course announcements, updates, and things like that. If you're doing a PowerPoint or maybe a voiceover, it might be extended. So keep that in mind when you're making a video. I sure like doing these videos outside when I can because the lighting is so much easier. It's natural light and you can often uh, capture uh, an event or something that's relatable to the course content. So let's take a look at a recent video I, I did and, and see what you think. Hi everyone and welcome to the subject of advertising. Some companies revolve their business model based on selling ads alone. We're all bombarded by ads on the internet, pop-up ads, billboards, and more. I'm looking at the Dutch advertising code, my background's from Holland, and I was interested in seeing how they set their rules, and I noticed on page 94 here, if you advertise for sweets, you have to put a picture of a toothbrush on the ad. That's probably not a bad idea, maybe. So different rules for different products, whether it's tobacco, real estate, and so forth. So let's take a deeper look this week at the issue of advertising. Hi everyone, this week we address the perhaps controversial subject of climate change and other issues. In the background you can see the smoky after effects of the forest fires that have taken place here in the fall of 2020. It's so important that we prepare our position statements and address the pros and cons of these different issues as we discussed in debating social responsibility. So I look forward to seeing you online. That's awesome, Mark. That's so great. Okay. Thank you. It could be tightened up a little bit. I know. I just, uh, 
I was kind of slurring over words on that one a little bit. <laughs> you know, what I think about is uh, how you can do this in a way that provides really timely information for your students, really brings you into the class in a way that increases instructor presence, in a way that reinforces the lessons and the materials that you have for your students. Really curious about the video you created with the, the, the smoke storm, uh, the, the big fire that we had a couple of years ago and, and what made it motivated you to, or what made you think about, about kind of getting outside and doing that? Well, you know, that's a great question, Paul. I, I, our, the class was organizations and re social responsibility. And one of the key topics was climate change because it was such a big topic. And here came these forest fires and uh, we were all in the midst of them here in the Northwest. And I thought this was a topic that was coming for the next week. And I thought, why not grab the opportunity to share something we're all experiencing together with the students and, and really see the impact on, on video. And so I was, I was excited to be able to take you know, a simple smartphone out there with me, which I carry like a lot of us do all around and capture the moment and then share it at the beginning of the class and say, this is, this is a very current cop topic for us. And otherwise I just uh, say, read the chapter on that, which this made it such a stronger bond, I think between myself and the students and knowing we're all experiencing something. So that was a really great week, as a matter of fact, for, for interaction, it really made it fun. I'm curious, how you've seen student engagement increase with the use of these videos. A lot of times I find out that students will comment on the video content and, and they will relate to it rather than uh, necessarily picking a generic video you know, off the internet. When they see the instructor actually experiencing again, uh, what's happening with the current event that's relatable to the course topic, they, they know it's current, for, you know, so anyway, it's, it's current, it's happening now. And uh, even if it, even if it was a week or two, it's still pretty current. And so I think they really like to comment and said, you know, I saw that too. I experienced that. And this is how I dealt with this situation, whether it was a management situation or uh, again, that in this case, it was organization social responsibility. So they related real quick to it. They made comments. And then later on, when we did course feedback, they came back and say, you know, one of the things they remembered most about the course was the opportunity to make comments on current things that we were, or issues we were all experiencing through the term. I like the way that you've used the videos to create that opportunity to connect your students and the materials back to the outcomes of the course. So it's really wonderful. And, and I really felt that if you could do it in a simple way, uh, you know, because the weeks go fast. And, and if you're saying, oh, I have to do a video every week, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about, you know, enhancing the course as we see opportunities. And, and there's a lot of opportunities out there. And, and I know that if it's, if we can do it in a simple way, we'll capitalize on those opportunities where, you know, maybe five, even 10 years ago or whatever, it was a lot more difficult. And so today, um, Again, I go back to using uh, these smartphones that most of us carry around now. We have the tools, right, you know, in our pockets, so to speak, and we carry them with us, and we're actually pretty good at it. You know, if, if you start doing one or two, you'll say, hey, that was pretty easy. I'm also curious about your engagement as an instructor, I and mean, this already demonstrates a lot of your presence as you're going over the materials for the students, but I'm curious how it may have also shaped your uh, attitude about conveying materials to students in the online learning environment. I think when I first started teaching in the online environment, I felt, oh, oh I need to go back to the classroom. You know, I need to be in front of these people or the students and, and really interact and, and I'm missing that component. And then I thought, you know, if I can do the, do something that enhance that process uh, to make it more enjoyable, not for me, but more enjoyable for the students, I'll feel good because I don't want them to feel like they're not engaged with me on a weekly basis or daily basis. So after doing the first few videos, I felt I'm back in, 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 in sync with the students. I felt like, oh, good, they're seeing me. 
And now they're even producing a few videos on their own saying, hey, Mark can do it. You know, I'm watching him. He can do it. And he's just using his smartphone. I can do it too. And pretty soon we're sharing videos back and forth and making comments. And it just enhanced the process. It's made the whole online teaching experience much more enjoyable, much more effective in delivering the course content and making sure the students are uh, fully engaged. And that's I think really was at the beginning of going online was missing. And now I think we can do it with simple tools. And they're getting better every day, which is you know good for the faculty, good for the students. So. Well, excellent. Thank you so much, Mark, for your time and, and sharing any, everything that you have with us today. Sure, Paul, I appreciate the opportunity. It's been a, just a great experience um, working with videos for the students and um, I appreciate the, uh, PCC support uh, of this because they've been great. <laughs> you know, all the, all the team there and the digital learning team.